Hey everyone, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to another video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you leave us a thumbs up and subscribe. Go back and check out all the other videos. But in today's video, we're going to be talking about tires. I like to do a lot of reviews on things, how everything holds up, how well they do, if it's worth your money spending on certain things here and there. So this will be another one. We are going to do a review on our Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's. So let's get at it. So, Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's. They came stock on my car. It's a 2019 Mustang GT. I do daily mine, so right now I got the winter tires on here. You can see these are the Nexon Windguard Sport 2's. If you want to know about them, go back on the channel. I did do a couple videos on them as well. But because we're still in the winter months, I have those on. Which gives us an opportunity to look at these. Now, I did order new rims for the car. So these are useless to me now. I'll probably be selling them because the new rims are 20 inch and these, like I said, came with the car, so they are 19 inch. Now, first thing first is tread wear. You can see, if you come up close, these are not bad at all. They are bad for picking up nails. I believe this one, you can see we had a flat we ended up getting it patched, held up fine, but they do pick up a lot of stuff like that. Having said that though, that's any case with any kind of performance tire, they are a little bit of a softer rubber. So the softer the rubber, the more stuff they're gonna pick up and hold on to. But as you can see, the tread wear on these things is not horrible. Now you might be looking and thinking, oh, well, it's barely anything there. But like I said, these are performance wheels so even brand new, they don't come with a lot of tread on them. Having said that, I do only have the two rears left. The fronts on the inside were worn down right to the wire. And that's because the alignment on the car was off. If you go back and check out some of the older videos where we're driving around and doing stuff like that, you could see the pony on the wheel was just slightly turned to one side. I must have hit a big bump or something and threw the alignment off the front. So fix that before I got the winter tires put on so I didn't wear, wear them down right away. But because the alignment was off, it wore out the one side. But you can see with these, now I don't do a bunch of burnouts and stuff like that. I have tracked the car, taken it down the drag strip, I should say, not really a track. We went down the strip so a few burnouts here and there, and then obviously you open her up a little bit on the roadway, and it'll lead up a bit of your tires. But these things, because I do have winter tires on, they're not on all year, but they probably have at least 25 to 30,000 kilometers on them. We are up here in Canada, so we go off of kilometers, but for having that much driving time on these, I would say they're holding up very, very well. So you can see they are the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's. They came off of the Mustang. They're 275, 40, 19 for the rear. They were 255, 40, 19s in the front. It is an offset on this vehicle. I did not purchase these tires for the new set of rims I got. Stay tuned to see what we got for those. Reason being is these, I don't know if it's because every manufacturer is using them on their cars nowadays with any performance vehicle, or if they are just that hard to get because of how everything is nowadays. But a new version of this is $650 Canadian. After tax and stuff, like close to $3,000 by the time you're all said and done. That's of course ordering, tax, shipping, install, all that. You're looking at almost $3,000 plus, depending on the size of your wheel, of course, just to get a new set of Pilot Sport 4S's. So like I said, for the new rims I got, I did not go with these. I went with something different. Stay tuned for that. They should be here any day and we'll get them on the car. But if you're willing to spend the money, like I said, these do have close to 30,000 kilometers on them. 
and they have, I would say another at least 20, maybe 25,000 miles or kilometers to go. I believe they're rated to 50,000 kilometers or something like that. And obviously if you're doing a bunch of burnouts, smoke shows, don't waste your money on these because no matter what wheel you get, they're going to be melting away. doesn't matter if they're $1,000 or $100, you're going to burn them up. Might as well get the cheaper ones, right? And now if we take a really close look at this, you can tell I do a lot of straight line driving because the inside is worn out more than the outside. That's not because they're inflated weird or anything like that. It's just, of course, if you're taking your car on a track or something with a lot of this motion, you're doing a lot of hard cornering, you're gonna eat up the outside of your tires a lot more than the inside, of course. And you can see there is a lot of tread left there on the outsides. And that is, like I said, just normal driving on the street. Of course, you're turning corners, zigzagging windy roads, that kind of stuff. It's not gonna eat it up right away. But I've heard on the track, the Cup 2s especially, they're a lot softer than this and you can almost eat up a new set every time you go to the track. So unless you got deep pockets, you might wanna be looking for an alternative if you're gonna be doing that kind of stuff. But if you want something that sticks and is gonna last a long time and you're daily driving your car like I do, if you're willing to spend the money, I would definitely recommend these over again. And then I was talking about how soft they are. I was rolling the wheel and as you can see, I do have another nail or something stuck here. But if you reach inside, it hasn't actually punctured all the way through the tire. So I'm just going to leave it in there. Not going to hurt anything. And if you pull it out, you might mess with something up or mess something else up. So, you know, I'm not full of it. They do like picking up every little piece of metal that they can find. But that is really in there. And you can see it's ground flat already from my driving. So maybe keep the repairman on hand if you're going to pick a set of these up or any soft type of tire. But other than that, you should be good to go. So there you have it guys, little review on your Pilot Sport 4S. Hopefully if you're looking at these for your own vehicle, this helped you out a bit. Other than price, I have no issue with the tires. I did try something else for the new set, like I said, so stay tuned for that. We'll see how they work. We'll do a full review, install and all that once it's all set up and done. But for now, leave us a thumbs up subscribe and hopefully we catch you guys in the next video thanks for watching everybody